The monarch was reportedly giving a foreign dignitary a tour of her stables when one of the animals farted loudly. Her Majesty is said to have apologized after an awkward pause, prompting a hilarious quip from the foreign dignitary. According to the Times, after the horse blew off the Queen said, I do apologize, Your Excellency. The foreign dignitary replied, It is no problem, Your Majesty. I thought it was one of the horses. The story has emerged after reports over the weekend that Camilla heard Joe Biden blow off at COP26. The US president reportedly broke wind as he exchanged small talk with the Duchess of Cornwall at the Climate Change Summit in Glasgow. A source told the Mail on Sunday, it was long and loud and impossible to ignore. Camilla hasn't stopped talking about it. The Duchess met Mr. Biden during a reception at the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery on November 1st. Prince Charles, Prince William, Kate and Boris Johnson also attended the event. The reception was originally meant to be hosted by the Queen. However the monarch was forced to pull out of COP26 after being ordered to rest by royal doctors. Last month, the 95-year-old head of state spent a night in hospital undergoing preliminary tests. The Queen instead gave a video message which was played during the reception for presidents and prime ministers. In the speech, she issued a rallying cry to world leaders to work together in common cause to tackle climate change and solve the most insurmountable problems. Her Majesty also paid tribute to Prince Philip for his work to raise awareness on the environment. She went on to express her pride in the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge for following in the Duke of Edinburgh's footsteps. The Queen said, in the coming days, the world has the chance to join in the shared objective of creating a safer, stabler future for our people and for the planet on which we depend. None of us underestimates the challenges ahead, but history has shown that when nations come together in common cause, there is always room for hope. Working side by side, we have the ability to solve the most insurmountable problems and to triumph over the greatest of adversities. The head of state added, I, for one, hope that this conference will be one of those rare occasions where everyone will have the chance to rise above the politics of the moment, and achieve true statesmanship. It is the hope of many that the legacy of this summit written in history books yet to be printed will describe you as the leaders who did not pass up the opportunity, and that you answered the call of those future generations. That you left this conference as a community of nations with a determination, a desire, and a plan, to address the impact of climate change, and to recognize that the time for words has now moved, to the time for action.